Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, I'm back with the new video tutorial series on the Jasper report. So first we have to install a Jasper Soft Studio for developing a Jasper report. So guys, let's get started. So first what we need, we have to open the favorite browser and here in the search box we have to type Jasper Soft Studio download and press enter key you will get the search results so you have to choose first search result and open in a new tab and come here on this page so this is the jasper soft community official page here you will get the download link for that so right here you can see here this is the big green button we have to click on it once you click you will see this page will load and we have many options current stable version of the jasper soft studio is 6.5.1 is available for download now come here in the download heading and you will see under it we have many options we have the standalone exe for x86 windows 86 machine also we have the 86 64 dmg file for mac os x but here I'm using the 64 bit machine so I have to choose the 64 bit setup or 64 bit zip file so I think I got this one so this is the x86 and 64 both compatible zip file so I'm going to click on this link and this page will open and it will ask you to fill up something but this is optional you not required to fill anything here so just click here no thanks and within a second you will be moved to the download page and you will see something like this and you can see here some progress is running okay now it's going to be downloaded here you can see downloading is started now and it is 357 MB of size so it will take some time okay guys downloading is finished and we got this zip file and now I'm going to the location where we have downloaded this one so I am picking up this file from this place and now putting it to the separate folder here and okay so finally we got this zip file and we have to unzip this file so do a right click and if you have installed the 7 zip or a winrar so you can extract this file okay so I'm extracting this same place This file is 48 MB now after extracting so it is taking time and going to be completed okay it's done and finally we got this folder now we have to go inside so here we got one more folder Jasper soft studio just click double click on it and you will get inside and now you will finally get these files okay now here we have the jaspersoft studio.exe file so now we have to double click on it to launch the jaspersoft studio okay and we clicked here and now you will see this is splash screen of the TIPCO Jaspersoft Studio Community Edition 6.5.1. This time, it this is preparing to set up and loading all the necessary files for launching the Jaspersoft Studio, where we will develop our first Jasper report. Guys, we have to wait for a few seconds more my pc is little bit little bit slow if you have a, a very good configuration pc so 
this thing will be fast in your environment. So you can see the green color progress bar is running very fast and now loading some basic files and which are necessary also this is asking for your permission this it's going to install something so you have to click here on the yes button okay finally we got this awesome you awesome IDE okay and uh, this looks much similar to the Eclipse IDE so this will be very easy to work here and uh, I hope most of you guys are familiar with the Eclipse so you will enjoy this IDE as well so guys this was the installation and uh, running the Jaspersoft Studio okay guys so this is the IDE for the Jaspersoft Studio so we can start creating the first report this is very simple what we have to do so we have this file option so you have to go in the file option you have to choose the new option here and you can see the first option Jasper report so you have to just click on here click on it and you will get this new report wizard here you have many options you have the A4 size the portrait format we have A4 size on the landscape format and we have a one blank letter so you can uh, write component you can place component as per your choice on any location and you have to set the layout as per your choice if you're choosing this template so I will suggest you for the training purpose you have to choose the blank A4 size because this will give you a benefit of the pre-formatting so okay so you have to click on the blank A4 now click on the next okay guys and default you will get, get this my report project folder so if you pre create any other Jasper report that will be visible in this project okay so here we are getting this Jasper file name which is blank underscore a4 dot grxml so whatever we going to create the Jasper report the extension will be dot grxml you can see here and this file will be saved with the extension .grxml so you can give the name like first report a4.grxml now you can click on the next and here uh, this is the something data source means we have to uh, populate our report with some data that will be JSON that will be the XML data or that will be the generated by the SQL query so we have many options here to connect our SQL to populate our Jasper report with the data so I will tell you these things in the later videos so please subscribe this channel and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest video updates on Jasper report okay guys now finally you can click on the next and uh, here we have not added any data source so we will have no choice to connect with the data source right now you will learn this thing in the next video tutorial on the Jasper report and you can f click on the finish button here now everything is going to be configured here for you and you will see something like this so guys you will see here lots of thing you have to learn so please watch the second video on the Jasper report